Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. I've actually started uh, online earlier on uh, using the flow through method as I mentioned in the previous vlog. I got a stacko but uh, unfortunately the stacko is asking me to send over to Jurong, Jalan Jurong Kecil area so it's way too far for me. So I cancelled the first stacko then I got a second stacko sending over to Hillview Terrace and then over to Block 210. So right now I'm at Block 210. I've completed sending both of the orders um, and we're gonna start the vlog. Okay, so um, yeah, today's topic is going to be about sending orders, uh, specifically sending cakes. So uh, if you are having problems sending cakes, you might want to reach or you might want to stay on and continue watching this vlog of mine. And uh, yeah, but for now, I will have to proceed over to my usual place, which is at uh, West Point, West Point normally. Okay guys, so I was on the way back to uh, West Mall then I got a stack of collecting from uh, Bukit Batok Central McDonald's so uh, instead of like uh, you know informing you guys that I collected blah 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 so I cut short that then uh, yeah I pick up the order I sent I already sent the first order here so I'm going on to the next order which is at uh, block 435A Bukit Batok West Avenue 5 so let's go Okay guys, so I sent the second order, uh, right now it is about to rain, seems that uh, the weather changed to overcast, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get quickly back to West Mall, then after that get started with today's topic, alright, see you guys.
Okay guys, finally I'm back at West Mall. Now we can start with our topic. So cakes, cakes are usually a headache for for some of us. Always a headache. But it can sometimes be fun if you bring cakes because it's very nice, nicely decorated, very nice colors, vibrant. But uh, it can be a hard pain sometimes. But the matter is, the issue doesn't lie with uh, fondant cakes or, or cakes that you uses fondant to actually uh, you know be the decoration or whatsoever not. The issue only lies with. Uh, cakes that are usually using fresh cream so how do we actually uh, transport these cakes uh, on the bike or even e-bikes now there is a very big difference if you are using e-bikes and uh, if you are transporting using motorbikes motorbikes are way different they got shock absorbers e-bikes flat nothing totally metal frame right so there's a very big difference so um, yeah, that's the issue, and uh, you know, you guys need to know uh, what kind of vehicles are you guys using to actually transport the cakes. So in a short while, I'm gonna share with you guys uh, the two differences, and also vendors, if you are listening to or watching my video, listen up and listen up good. Right, if you want your cakes to be delivered well, delivered nicely, you need to do something to your cakes, right? So, uh, listen up, listen up good, right? So, for the meantime now, uh, I got orders. So, I gotta send the orders, I gotta pack the orders. So, uh, yeah, it's collecting bubble tea, uh, sending to 164 and 446, and I will continue from there. Okay guys, so, got both orders, one from Koi, one from Liho. And uh, yeah, now I am at the second customer's location. Order sent already, so right now I'm going back to Westmore. Then we can continue with our topic about sending cakes. <sighs> See you guys. Okay guys, as I was on the way back to West Mall, I got uh, an order for Grab Mart. Okay, it's uh, collecting at this uh, NTUC fair price. So, sending to triple three, triple three. So now I'm at triple three. I already sent the order. Uh, it's uh, kind of leave it at the door kind of order. So now I'm kind of like uh, split between going back to West Mall or going back to Gomba because uh, my bike battery is left with one or two bar but I will think I'll just stick around here I'll see if I can get any orders from here then uh, we'll see how it goes anyway uh, with regards to the topic cake now okay cakes for this one vendors please listen up alright if you're using fondant fondant is not an issue because fondant once you put inside the freezer it will harden up Right, so that's uh, there's no issue about that. But when it comes to fresh cream, you got to make it firm. Okay, you got to make it hard. Okay, uh, that one I think sounds a bit wrong. Uh, yeah, you got to make the cream hard. Just imagine, uh, just take for example M and M's the the chocolate, which is the piece by piece fine. So you got to make it in such a way it's a hard casing of the cake so you have to layer at the bottom put the cake on top i mean layer the cream at the bottom then put the cake on top and cover it with the cream itself and you put it inside the freezer or whatsoever to harden up the cream right otherwise you will end up uh getting a rider then the rider will send and you will end up having your cake one side flat All right that's a common uh thing when it comes to fresh cream cakes so and for guys now um for ladies as well if you are also doing deliveries by bike or e-bike now the issue is that i need to change battery okay guys back online fresh battery cantik 
uh, okay uh, for e-bikes e-bikes one thing uh, is going to be a problem because e-bikes are flat there's no shock absorbers nothing so you guys need to travel either at the slow speed or if you're lucky you get a vendor which really hardens up all the flesh cream itself uh, then it'll be good otherwise then you got to travel slow and as you all know that uh, for e-bikes um, the roads right now Singapore both roads are even worse than JB uh, come down to Singapore if you guys are from Malaysia come down to Singapore you have a check at the roads right now it's terrible right there's potholes here and there and I guess they are really cutting down even the quality of the road so um, what to do life is like that anyway um, yeah for e-bikes one thing you guys need to slow down when you send the order and of course uh, there's another thing is that um, put your your bags on a bike rack right don't don't like um, you know kind of like sit on your seat kind of thing so if you put your bags on the seat then you will find that the bottom of the bag will actually be bent this one can only apply for bikes okay bikes if you put your back on the seat it is advantageous because why it slants to one side then if you carry drinks you'll be like you know slant to the side uh, i leave my bags always like that so I, I i i have the control over the drinks so that it won't spill anyway uh for bike itself if you happen to get a new bike or a second hand bike first thing to do is to check your shock absorber that means uh, uh, some would call it kantong some would, some would call it uh, suspension whatever it is it is at the back whether it's the center shock absorber or the side shock absorber make sure you guys check it out see whether it's soft if it's soft it's lumbar change right uh, you there's uh, something to do with uh, aerodynamics when you ride a bike so if your shock absorbers are too soft you'll be riding like harley davidson but actually your your bike is like just a normal bike but your your handlebar is like higher up instead of straight you get what i mean uh, if that makes sense usually i mean if you ride a bike it has to be slight slightly slanted so that when in motion the bike will go straight if that makes sense Anyway, I don't want to go deep inside into that so much. Right? If you want to know more, leave your comments in the comment section below. Right? I will do a separate video on that if you guys want to know. But otherwise, I will ignore. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys got to first change your suspension if your suspension or shock absorber is too soft. Right? Make sure you change it to a medium to hard. All right? Not hard. Okay, that's another thing that is wrong. Okay, uh, sounds so wrong. Okay, anyway, so on top of that, now if you're going, uh, sending to a nearby location, uh, you can go at 60, no problem, no issue. The, the cakes uh, won't actually move that much. But um, the another point is that do not jam brake or brake too hard. You've got to like slowly, gradually, uh, step on the brakes right if you brake too hard and you know the cream the cake of the cream the cream of the cake you know is still soft and it will automatically move forward so you will end up instead of having a round cake you will end up having a semi round cake with a flat side so that that uh, actually happened to me last time when I was actually riding and uh, end up uh, one side of the cake end up a bit a bit flat it's not that big a flat but it's just a bit flat so it's kind of off shape uh, so uh, you guys don't want to you guys want to uh, avoid jam jamming the brakes or braking too hard right that will cause the centrifugal force Gee. centrifugal centrif centrifugal force to cause it to actually move forward and, and hit against the side of the box alright so that is one part of it and if you guys are sending at a far distance that means the distance is going to take quite far and you've got to take the highway to actually reach to the location alright 
the sweet spot for traveling is between 80 to 100 kilometers per hour all right if you guys are like you know um, having as what i mentioned you guys change your shock absorbers and stuff to the medium to hard uh, uh, that, that, that suspension thing right the sweet spot for traveling is between 80 to 100 kilometers per hour so do not travel beyond 100 of course uh, at the highway you wouldn't want to travel below 80 because 80 is actually the speed limit so um yeah so we stay within range of 80 to 100 kilometers per hour that should uh, actually uh, make your travel smooth right um, and of course uh, try not to you know zoom in and out of uh, traffic because instead of uh, later you end up with a cake that has a flat front you will end up with a cake that has a flat side because you go left and right left and right kind of thing try to go in and out of traffic so that is one thing so for you guys uh, who are having motorbikes try to uh, see what's the posture of your riding right if your posture is you are riding a normal bike but your posture is like um, how to say hang on there's a garbage truck hang on okay now if you guys are riding a bike you are riding a normal bike but your posture is like riding a Harley Davidson you, you are you need to change your shock absorber seriously right you need to change your shock absorbers because your shock absorbers are way too soft so uh, that's a pointer for you guys um, previously I I had uh, Yamaha RX Zag right the one that pointed out to me about my shock absorber is actually my mechanic right he he was the one who's taking care of my bike so he told me that the sh shock absorbers needs to be changed and he recommend using uh, the RXK suspension or RXK shock absorbers instead so I made a switch then uh, it was way better in fact um, when I actually changed to the RXK shock absorbers uh, a few issue or a few problems I encountered is that um, my pillion tends to slip behind right there was uh, once my pillion even feedback to me say hey bro you bawa very shock uh, your bike you know very uh, even though there's a bump I don't feel the bump that kind of thing and there's even one of my pillions who are actually is my pillion but in fact she ended up sleeping all the way until below my armpit so of course one thing as a pillion it is very dangerous for you guys to actually sleep behind your rider so that's one thing of mine um, yeah that is how um, smooth it can be right whatever the things that I gave you changing of shock absorbers J, uh, riding between 80 to 100 kilometers per hour these are the details that you guys need to know to actually maintain a smooth journey don't believe give it a try by all means right um, these are some takeaways for you guys and uh, for e-bikes sorry to say I even myself when I ride my e-bike I go back my backside like kenapu if you get what I mean uh, you know like if you guys take you know those who eat durian and you want to eat the durian you have to pry it open uh, that's how my butt feel lah. Uh, so uh, every single day and just imagine if you go two rounds of you know uh, doing grab on e-bike I tell you end of the day my my backside also become like durian I have to pry it open okay so yeah uh, i think that should be all for you guys to share by all means i mean if you guys are like you know uh have some issues that you want to discuss or you want to bring up you want to have it clear leave it in the comments below i try to answer as much as possible then um yeah i think this should be it for this uh so-called transporting of cakes cupcakes and definitely not fish cake because fish cake is very small so cupcakes cannot avoid they are little rascals that cannot sit down quietly all right once you hit a bump they will jump all over the place 
right? Cupcakes are the little devils. So uh, it would be good, all right, vendors. It would be good if you guys can design something which actually put the cupcakes deep in, just nice to the surface of the cup itself. Because you know cupcakes, when you guys bake the cupcakes, the the, the heat sounds so wrong. The top of the cupcake actually forms kind of like a mushroom, and the below is actually the paper cup. So uh, it will be best if you guys can put it deep. Alright, there are some cupcake sellers or cupcake uh, bakers that actually have. The, 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 the cup in kind of thing but it is way too low it is way too low you need to make it slightly higher to you need to make it slightly higher up to the level of the paper cup itself being too low no point you having the cupcake holder inside right you need to actually be on the same level as the cupcake top layer right so that the you know that mushroom head will actually sit nicely and actually grip onto the holder itself right and uh, of course if possible if you guys are having decorations on top of the cupcake sorry to say once the cupcake starts bouncing it will hit the top of the box and that's it right so yeah for cupcakes it can be safe but uh, it depends on the design of the cupcake holder itself right if it's way too low no point you even having the uh, cupcake holder inside as well so you need to design something which is deep deep right so that you can put the cupcake deep in right so that you can hold and sit in deep right so that's it guys I am now at block 333 and I guess that is so much for the tips for transporting cakes. Yeah, make it hard, make it deep. Again, sounds so wrong. Whatever it is, uh, yeah, just, you know, carry on as per your usual. So right now, I'm just waiting for another order. Uh, to date now, I mean, as uh, this time right now, currently I have seven, seven orders, and my e-bike battery is still at two or one bar. Uh, so maybe last trip I just do a flow through. All right, then we we'll see how it goes. All right. Otherwise, if there's nothing, then I will call the block. Done. Consider it done. Then maybe the next topic we're talking about spillage. Sorry guys, it was super thirsty, so I had a drink of outside. Um, yeah, just now I waited for uh, quite a few minutes, but uh, so far Gombat doesn't have any orders coming in. So the next best thing is to go back go and charge my e-bike, charge everything, charge myself alright then we'll go out again maybe tonight for another round of grabbing so for the meantime I'll call this vlog uh, I'll call it a day alright um, yeah stay safe, ride safe bye bye